Hey there everyone, I am Arindam and today I am going to show you how you can build an agentic deep researcher using ScrapeGap AI. We will create an Streamlit app to interact with our deep researcher agent and we will also create an MCP server so that we can also interact from our MCP clients like Cloud Desktop, Cursor and others. So first, let's see this in action. To run this, you need Nebius API keys and ScrapeGap API keys. So first, we need to go to Nebius AI Studio and go to this get API key section put the name and get the API keys so I have already created mine so I will not be creating another you can create one here and paste the API keys next we'll be going to the script grab AI dashboard and we'll get the API keys from here so we will just copy the API keys from here and paste it uh, in this part I have already pasted that awesome so the configuration part is done now let's uh, try this out so we will ask it about Navy AI Studio so tell me more about Nebius AI Studio. As you can see here, it has started the first phase, which is researching. So in this phase, it mainly uses ScrapeGrap AI and extracts relevant data about the query that we are passing. So in this case, it will be querying about Nebius AI Studio, find all the relevant data that it has from the web and pass it to the next agent, which will be in the phase two. Awesome, it has started the phase two. In this phase, it is just analyzing the data that it got from the research agent. And now it will pass that to the third agent, which is our writer agent. So that is in the phase three. And it has passed the information to the writing agent and the agent has started writing it. So as you can see here uh, about market analysis and strategy insights. So here are the key findings, the audience, use cases. You will see all the information that you might be looking for. It has also provided references. So this is the overall report that we got from our deep researcher agent. And you can also ask follow up questions to it. And you can ask wide range of questions based on your use cases. If you're writing your research paper, this could be really useful. Now we will also use that via our MCP client that is our cloud desktop. So let me open my cloud desktop. I have opened my cloud desktop and here I have configured the MCP server. I will also show you in the later section how you can also configure your MCP server in Cloud Desktop. So you can see the tools here. I have opted out from the web search because I want to use my Deep Researcher agent. And as you can see here, the Deep Researcher agent is activated here. Now I will ask the same question here on Cloud and which will use our Deep Researcher agent. So tell me more about ABS here. Awesome. As you can see here, it has asked for the permission to use this. So I will do allow once it has started processing the query here. It might take a bit more time because it is doing three steps. So expect it to take some time on that. Awesome. You can see the response it has uh, generated uh, the all details it has got. You can see it has uh, started writing based on the deep researcher agent. So it has added all the details that it got from the deep researcher agent. So you can also use it on your cursor uh, while working on any project. You can give more context to your agent. Awesome. So now let's see how this actually works. This is the basic workflow of a deep researcher. So first the user is passing the query here. Our web search agent is using the ScrapeGraph AI web search tool to find relevant information from the web. And then it passes the research notes to the analysis agent, which uses a deep seek models to analyze the whole content and generate an analysis of it, which it passes to the writer agent. And finally, the writer agent generates a report based on that. For the building of this project, we have used ScrapeGraph AI, Agno and Navy CI Studio. So if you're working with agent that needs real-time data access, you should definitely give ScrapeGraph AI a try. It gives structured data for your AI agents and they have really powerful scraping API to get you know, more detailed information and you can build deep researcher agents like the one that we built right now. You can also scrape any website using it. All you need to do is pass the website URL and the prompt and it will give you a JSON structured data, which is really helpful if you're working with AI agents. Next, we have used Agno, which is a lightweight library for building AI agents. So it has support for a lot of tools that you can use in your agents. So one of them is ScriptGraph AI that I have used in this project. So you can explore their docs to know more about it. And for the LLMs, I have used Navius AI Studio. So Navius AI Studio provides state-of-art open source models that you can use starting from text-to-text -text model, embedding model, text image models, vision models as well. If you are building AI agents, you should definitely give this a try.
Now let's see how the code works. So for that, let's go to our cursor. So in cursor, we have mainly three files. First one is the app.py, which has the streamlit UI. And another one is the agents.py, which contains the main logic of the deep researcher. And finally, the server.py, which contains the MCP server implementation. So first, let's go to the agents.py file. So first we have imported the modules and then we have created the deep researcher agent class. So this is the way you have to create workflows in Agno. First we have defined our searcher agent, which uses the script graph tools. And for the models, we are using DeepSeq V3 from Navius. As you can see here, I have added the description, what you can do and all the instruction for it. Next, we have created the analyst agent which does not use any tools because it does not need to perform any function calling. It takes the information from the previous agent, which is the researcher agent and just analyze the data. And third and final, our writer agent, which takes the analyzed report from the analyzer agent and writes a detailed report. So as you can see here, all the descriptions here and the instructions. And finally, we'll define the run function here. First, we will do the search part. As you can see here, we are just running and we are just passing the topic here and getting the research content. And next we are passing the research content to our analyzer agent, which then creates the analysis of it. And finally, we pass the analysis to the, the writer agent, which uh, creates a detailed report for it. And we just yield the report. And that's it. Our workflow part is done. Pretty simple, right? Now we will just create a run research function call from our MCP server. So here we just initializing the deep researcher agent. We are passing the query here and we just rock the report that it has generated the info and we are just streaming the responses here and that's it. If you want to run it on the CLI, I have created a sample questions here and it will print the response here. Our agent workflow is done. Now we will go to our app.py file. So as you can see here, first we are just importing all the files. So this is the UI part. I will not go in depth about this. So if you have worked with Streamlit, you know how this works. So, so in the sidebar, we are taking the API keys and in the user input part, we are taking the user input. So first place, we have used the researcher agent and similarly, we have used the analysis agent and the report writer agent. And finally, we have just printed the whole report using the markdown format. And that's it. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's go to the interesting part. Let's go to our MCP server implementation. So for that, go to server.py. Here you can see the implementation is pretty simple. So we are just importing all the modules. Uh, we are just using this fast MCP. So we are defining the deep researcher agent as a tool. And we are just taking the query here. And we are just calling the run research function that we have defined in the agents.py file. And finally, we are just running it with the stdio server. Now to use it to your cloud desktop or any other MCP client, you need to configure it. So for that, the configuration looks something like that. I have already added it. All you need to do uh, is change the directory here. This is my directory for this file. You need to change the directory that you are using. Pass an ABS API key, the script grab API key, and that's it. You can use it on your cloud desktop or any other MCP client. So we have successfully implemented our deep researcher agent and used it via our MCP client that is cloud desktop. You can also improve this project via adding caching mechanism to it or add some more features to it. The complete code is open source. You can find them on GitHub. Go to awesome AI apps and in the advanced AI agent section, you will find the deep researcher agent and you will find the detailed readme here. Uh, all the features that it has, the diagram that I have shown you, the full workflow and also how you can install it. All you need to have UV installed in your system, then clone the repo and go to the folder, do UV sync to install all the dependencies, paste your environment, and you can use it via CLI, Streamlit UI, and the MCP lines that we have already explored. So all steps are detailedly mentioned here. So you can check them out. And so if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. Also, if you are interested in more agentic examples like this, you can find them on awesome AI apps. So we have multiple agent frameworks starting from ADK, OpenAGS SDK, Agno, Llama Index. We have starter agents. If you are newbie, you can explore the starter agents. If you want to go ahead, you can go to the simple agents, then MCP agents, RAG examples, and you can also find the advanced agents that we are building. 
And if you like this project, do give it a star. This will really motivate me to create more projects like this. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. I will see you in the next video. Bye.